Hi everyone, Susan Hammonds, Realtor with Sunset Code Group, Real Estate Partners, brokered by eXp Realty. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for the new subscribers. Today I'm going to talk about the Promised Land Zoo, the VIP plus animal encounter that I had with the sloths. You're going to hear 20 facts that you may or may not have known about sloths while you look at some different pictures that I have found and that occurred at the zoo. The first VIP interaction that I had was a small group interaction. You can already watch that video up. The third one that will come after this about the Promised Land Zoo is going to be about the Christmas drive through lights. It's called Let There Be Lights and that will follow this video. The one following that is going to be about the Branson real estate market and what's going on there as we come through the first month of the new year and we'll look at what those statistics are and what's going on. So get ready, because you're gonna learn 20 different facts about the sloths right now. Sloths are Xenarthra mammals. There are 31 species, including anteaters and armadillos. So does that mean they're related? Well, they're close relatives. There's two major characteristics they have. Large curved claws and the powerful forearms or forelimbs for digging, or in the sloth's case, for hanging. There are two-toed and three-toed sloths. Look at the pictures. Do you see the two-toed and the three-toed? The Promised Land Zoo that we saw have three toes, so they are the three-toed sloth. Sloths live in Central and South America. They love tropical climates like the rainforest. Sloths mainly eat leaves. However, sometimes they eat different fruits and even lizards. A sloth sleeps 15 to 20 hours a day. Can you imagine? They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day and they're active at night. They eat mostly at night, unless you have food, as we did, at the zoo. And then they wake up just to eat and then go right back to sleep. Do you know where sloths spend most of their lives? You are correct up in the trees. Sloth's claws are very long, sometimes up to four inches long. Their hook is actually called a distal phalangus. It's a bone-like substance that's covered by material that makes up our fingernails. They use their claws to hang in the trees. Now their hook works very much like a pair of vice grips in that it locks. So when the sloth goes to sleep, Unlike our muscles that would release and we would fall out of the tree, their hook keeps them in place until they release it. Sloths spend most of their lives upside down and sleeping in a tree, eating, mating, and giving birth to their babies. Did you know that sloth's fur can contain algae, insects, and beetles in the wild? Moths in their fur actually helps them to grow algae for food. Would you like to live with moths or insects or beetles in your hair? The reason sloths come down out of a tree, well, there's typically two main reasons. Sloths come down out of a tree because they want to move to another tree and they want to climb it. Or number two, they have to go poo, which occurs one to two times a week. A sloth's biggest predators are snakes, eagles, jaguars, and even pumas. When sloths do come down out of the tree, they become very easy prey. They rely on camouflage to blend in and to not be seen. Did you know I learned at the Promised Land Zoo that if they must, 
they can defend themselves with their claws and their very strong forelimbs. They can grab on to a predator, hold it, pull it close to them, and use their very sharp teeth to bite, which almost look like a canine or a dog's teeth. Did you know sloths can swim? Well, I didn't either, but they cannot walk, so they use their super strong forearms to pull themselves along with their claws when they are on the ground. And actually, they can go at a very fast speed of, well, just one mile per hour. Look very closely at the picture for the sloth's ears. Do you see them? A sloth's ears are very small, and unfortunately, they cannot hear very well. In this picture, if you look closely, you will see several sloths, including a baby, hanging at the top of their enclosure. The kind of reddish glow that you can see on the one sloth to the left is a heat lamp that they all gather under to stay very warm. How sweet. This is a photo of Scarface. He is the male of the group, the only male, and they named him that because he has a small cut on his lip. While sloths have beautiful, dark, round eyes, they cannot see very well either. Sloths rely on their nose for sense of smell as well as their touch. Those are the two primary ways they navigate their environment, is through sense of smell and by touch. This photo, you can see Scarface looking at the camera, watching to see what I'm doing with the food, and the baby is going down the back where the ladder is, looking and smelling to see if she's going to get fed. And of course, the baby does get fed. Pregnant mamas are usually pregnant for five to eight months, depending on the type of sloth they are. Some of them have one baby per year and others don't. Babies are called cubs and they weigh approximately 10 ounces. They're born with fur, eyes open, and they're also able to climb, although they cling to mom for the first few months of life. They will stay with mom for the first year or two of life and then move away. However, they usually only move, move a tree or two away from her. Sloths live 25 to 40 years in the wild and in captivity, depending upon their diet and their health. Two of the six sloth species are actually threatened, the main sloth and the pygmy three-toed sloth. I hope you have enjoyed learning 20 facts about sloths and seeing our adventure as we went to the Promised Land Zoo. Please check out their website listed below, and I'll see you on the next video.